Hey, to this video I will show you the vintage camera era. I'm gonna talk about the history, the pros and cons, my first digital camera, tips to use, prices and more. Let's start. Vintage digital cameras are cameras that were released prior to the advent of digital photography. They are typically film-based cameras that have been modified to accept digital media. They often feature classic styling and designing elements that have been lost in modern digital cameras. There are some words that describe vintage. Retro, classic, time-lapse, nostalgic, iconic, whole school, collectible, analog, unique. Well, my first camera was the Canon ISU 60. Actually, it was not mine. It comes from my father. Basically, he just was taking pictures of cars, motorbikes, and to add the pictures in some paper words for answer company. Yeah. This is my beginning the photography. <laughs> um, I was using this camera when he was home and I love it to take pictures of my cat, flowers. The picture you see on the screen is was taken in 2009 with the Canon ISO 16. Four years later, in 2013, he got the Canon PowerShot A2500. This is 60 megapixel, CCD sensor and 4.5 of zoom 28 140 mm f2 and I got this camera back to me 10 years later. So this is my vintage digital camera. That's no bad, isn't it? They are often half a unique aesthetic that can be used to create interesting and creative photos. They are often cheaper than modern digital camera, making them a good choice for those on a budget. They can be more reliable than modern digital cameras as they have been tested and proven to be dependable over time. They often have features that are not available on modern digital cameras, such as manual settings and a wider range of lenses. may not have the same resolution as the modern digital cameras, so the quality of the photos may not be as good. May not have the same range of features as modern digital cameras, so they may not be acceptable for more advanced photography. may not be compatible with modern computer software, so they may be difficult to use, may be more prone to breakdowns, as they are not designed to handle the same level of use as modern digital cameras. I like to use my vintage digital camera in a specific moment, when I see something interesting and I want to keep it as natural as I can or when I can't bring my main camera and a smartphone or small cameras are allowed to use. In this case, vintage digital camera is really good choice. You can find vintage digital cameras at antique stores and digital stores such as eBay. Second hand is a good option? Yes. Buying second hand can be a great option if you are looking for a good price. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope this video is useful for you. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in the next one.